Democrats knew that they were losing the black vote. They said, put Kamala in the game. Put Kamala in the motherfucking game because one thing that the Democratic Party knows is it doesn't take much to get black people to unite behind what they consider a black face. And I think what's so bothersome about the whole situation for me is that Kamala has made it very clear that she has no plan for black people specifically, right? And at the same time saying that she has no plan for black people, they do have a plan specifically for Jewish people. They do have a plan specifically for the LGBTQ community. They do have a plan specifically for immigrants. They do have a plan specifically for the Chinese. But for black people, I don't have anything specific for you. She said that out her own mouth. And I think what really it's Joe Brown speaks on Kamala Harris really got stinky, where she had evidence showing that somebody on death row was pristinely innocent. She refused to release the information until the Supreme Court of the state ordered her to release any such information in her possession. Mm. That kind of person. And now she's supposed to be our friend and that'll creepy laugh. And it's Mrs. M. Hoff, by the way. Now, nothing wrong with Jewish people, but she's married to a Hollywood, well-to-do Hollywood Jewish lawyer. She's a Hindu Tamil caste Brahmin, which, according to anthropolo anthropologists, is what's known as an Indo-Aryan. Now, we've all heard of the Aryan Superman, mm. blonde-haired, blue-eyed, that founded Germany. Well, Aryans did found Germany, but they weren't blonde-haired, blue-eyed. That came later. They were dark to swarthy, the paper bag brown with coarse black hair and dark eyes. Those are the Aryans, but we got a lie told long enough and loud enough and everybody thinks they're blonde haired, blue eyed. So you have Aryan nation, Aryan brotherhood and all of this mess and neo-Nazis. and You've got the Klan, they worship the Aryan supermen and all of this, but Camilla Impoff is an Aryan. She <laughs> says she's Jamaican, which yes, she is. That doesn't make you black because I am personally aware of a certain friend's wife that I have met and she's blonde haired, blue eyed. She's a Jamaican citizen born in Jamaica. Her parents are born in Jamaica and they are blonde haired, blue eyed, but the grandparent is a member of the English aristocracy. So it was part of the English Commonwealth, part of the English, the British Empire, and the sun never set on that. So you have Jamaicans who came from Hong Kong, Singapore, and wow. she grew up. She, she's not even raised in America. She was raised in Canada where she was a subject of the Queen. Mm. And that makes a distinct difference. We were talking about that with sovereignty. And her yearbook, picture which she has in her little yearbook story says i've so enjoyed my experience kindergarten through 12th grade and i'm looking forward to going to howard where she lied about her race to get a scholarship 